February 2021. Okay. Oh, Clayton, Clayton, yes. we can't hear you, so I don't know if you're not speaking towards your microphone. Okay. Is that better? And if That's much better, yes. And if everybody who's not okay. talking can mute their uh, microphone, that would help too. We're getting a lot of feedback. Are we ready now? Yes. Can you hear me all right? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> so this is time and place for the Pickle District Board of Technology for the Pickle so, Clayton, we're not, sorry, Clayton, we're not here at all. Um, Bob, read it. Yeah, I have it in front of me. Clayton, we're going to let Bob read it because you keep cutting in and out, so it's real hard to hear what you're saying. Okay. It's a lot of static coming from somewhere. But anyway, the uh, Board, of Tech, Board of Denture Technology meeting is convening at 9.14 a.m. on February 8, 2021, the Health Licensing Office in Salem, Oregon. By telephone conference call, I will now call roll. Clayton Reese. Here. Grant Smith. Here. Chris Chapman. Here. Nels Voss. Here. Ron Ferris. Here. Members, when you wish to speak, please state your last name for the record. For the record, public members calling in to the public phone lines are asked to email April Fleming at April dot Fleming at DHS OHA dot state dot OR dot US and provide your first and last name. Public and interested parties feedback may be heard during the public and interested parties feedback period if indicated on the agenda. Everyone is asked to use appropriate language, manners, and protocols when conducting board business. This meeting is called to order. Thanks, Bob. Um, so the first item on the agenda is approval of the agenda. So if we could get somebody to make a motion to approve the agenda. This is Chris Chapman. I uh, make the motion to approve the agenda. And Nell seconds it. Okay. Bob, will you do roll call and indicate board members by saying yay or nay? Motion has been made. I'll call the roll. Clayton Reese. Right. Yay. Grant Smith. Yay. Chris Chapman. Yay. Nels. Yay. Ron Ferris. Yay. Okay. Motion passes and the agenda is approved. Okay, so we're going to go into our first item, which is the executive session, item number three. Um, Bob, you want to read the um, script? The Board of Technology, Board of Denture Technology, will now meet in executive session pursu pursuant to ORS 192-6602F and ORS 676-595 for the purpose of considering information exempt from public disclosure at 9.17 a.m. on February 8, 2021. Representatives of the news media shall be allowed to attend the executive session by conference call and will be provided further call-in instructions shortly. The public phone line will be muted for the duration of the executive session. Are there any representatives of the news media on the public phone line? No, there is not. Recognizing there is no news media in attendance, the public phone line will be muted for the duration of the executive session and we will return to open session before taking any final actions, making any final decisions. We're now in executive session for discussions and actions. Is they all good to go? Yep. Okay. 
It is proposed that in case number 17-8708 to close it with issuing a letter of concern that is non-disciplinary. This is Clayton, so moved. And this is, this is Chris, I second. Uh, this is Ron. Um, oh, hold on, Ron. Wait, Ron. Recuse. So now Bob's going to do a roll call, so he'll go through board members, and when he calls your name, you indicate with either yay or nay when you, um, you want to approve. Bob? Okay. Clayton? Yay. Grant? Yay. Chris? Yay. Nels? Yay. Ron? Recuse. Recuse. Perfect. Recuse. Perfect. Yep. Are perfect. Okay. So that one passed. Um, it is proposed that in case number 20-9508 to close the case unsubstantiated. And I'll call roll. Clayton. No. 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 Sorry about that. <laughs> this is Chris. Grant I approve. I heard Chris do the approved. Okay, and is there a second? Uh, this is Grant, I'll second that. And Grant has seconded. Bob, you want to call roll? Sure. Clayton. Yay. Grant. Yay. Chris. Yay. Nils. Recuse. Ron. Yay. Okay. Okay, motion carry. All right, so let's get moving on. So we are on the agenda, item number five, um, director's report. So for those of you who have your materials and want to look through them, um, you will be you can do that now. So director's report, a um, couple of things. Nels has been graciously serving until replaced. Um, you guys are a Senate confirmation board, so you have to wait until the Senate does confirmations. And we do have... Um, it looks like Todd Young may be potentially the next Senate confirmed to be a replacement for Nels. So we'll keep you updated on that. Um, the other thing is, is we have some new staff that are finally getting um, approved. So our front line has been very, very short staff, um, along with COVID, which I'll talk, talk, that, we'll talk, talk about that a little bit later. Um, it's, it's, it's nice to be able to be full, fully staffed. Um, we still are open to the public um, by appointment only. So it's nice to be able to have those staff that are there in the office to be able to do that. Um, other than that, we're in heavy duty legislative session. Um, we're real busy with that. We have the potential of um, a new board or new program coming to us that's already had its first hearing at the legislation. And it moved forward pretty fine, as far as I know. Um, and then there's our other discussions about other programs and boards being added to us too. But as of right now, it's so far looking like just one program, but we're also, we have many days of session left, so we'll see how that goes. Um, any questions on any of that before I move on? No? Okay. So next up, let's go through some of your licensing and fiscal reports. So that's your packet. The first one I'm going to look at is the one that talks about licenses issued and renewals process and the percent of individuals who renew online, which is, that's pretty steady. Um, not a lot of licenses being issued. So hopefully that changes because you, you want to have new people keep coming into the profession. And so you can see there that there's not a lot of new licenses that have been issued. Um, and over time, you obviously have individuals who choose to not renew, um, but we'll get to, that, the more detail of that in a couple slides. The next slide just shows um, a snapshot in time, which is February 4th. Uh, the age difference in the age and gender, obviously you do not have to identify if you're male or female, so which is why there's that third category. But this just shows of the active licenses, the age and gender statistics. And you're welcome to ask me a question at any time, or I'll just keep continue moving right along. Um, the next slide shows the long-term trend. So state government has kind of odd years. 
So our fiscal year 17, which is on the far left of that slide, quarter one is actually July, August, and September of 2016. So at that time, you had an average of 105 for that quarter. And so quarter three of fiscal year 2021 is actually January, February, and March of 21. I know it's weird. So for that quarter, you have an average of 112. So in that length of time, you've only gone up, what, seven individuals. And so it's not a hugely growing profession, is basically what that I'm saying with all this technical information. <laughs> Um, next slide. Next slide shows your financials. Um, you've got a good cash balance, which is what we want. Um, hopefully, we do not have a big case that ends up having to go to a trial and to a hearing because having about $200,000 in your account will get eaten up really fast. Um, but we want to have a good cushion just in order to cover that cost. Um, and then also to address the difference in the cost of us now being in health authority and public health versus being independent and in our own agency. Part of legislative session, we do have um, two boards that have to go in for fee increases. So that's the cosmetology board, which is our largest board. Their fees were set from when we were prior to being part of the health authority. And their fees are not enough to keep them sustained. And then the other board is respiratory therapists and polysomnographers. Their fees were also set when we were independent, and so their fees need to increase. Um, once we get those two boards stabilized, then we're going to look at all the boards and make sure that all the fees are appropriate. And in some cases, boards will want, we will have their um, fees reduced, so their, their revenue be reduced. Because if you look at this chart, you can see that the revenue is much more than the expenses. And that's where we want to try to get those two numbers as close to each other as possible so that you're not continuously increasing a cash balance. Does that make sense? Sure. Sure. Okay. Any questions on that before I move on? I talk really fast. I have all this up in my head. So if there's any questions you have, just let me know. All right. The next slide of interest will be the regulatory report. Um, Bob, if you want to go ahead. Sure, thank you. So um, we're still showing three biennium on the regulatory report. Um, my division has also been pretty short-handed as of late, um, but I have taken all of the cases and redispersed them to the investigators um, to try to get these knocked off and they've got instruction to work on these cases over newer cases and make them a priority. Um, and with the information that I got today, hopefully we can get that done. Um, also, I wanted to note that um, once we start peeling these off and getting them completed, we may uh, ask the board to come together for a regulatory board meeting to um, get through the cases. Um, in between board meetings themselves. So currently we've got two open cases in 1517 and 1719 we've got uh, five open cases. Some of those are going to fall off today or one of those will and then uh, the 1921 biennium we've got five remaining open and we've received a total of 13 thus far. Um, so we're kind of keeping them at bay as we're going forward. We just have those uh, seven older ones that we would like to get peeled off. That's the reason we um, reassign them to different investigators and ask them to make them a priority. Any questions? Concerns? Uh, Ron, down here. Thanks, Ron. Okay, so this is Sylvie. Let's move on. We've got a policy report that talks about legislation and administrative rules. Sammy, you're still on there, so Sammy, you want to take over? Yes, they'll be actually pretty much filled in everything regarding legislation. There's nothing specific to your boards at this point. Um, if they, something comes up, we'll let you know. And then the administrative rules, um, we're adding March 18th to uh, the list of rules to adopt permanent rules for continuing education. Thank you. 
So as long as you're okay with March 18th, then I believe April emailed everybody and requested that date. And that's all my report is. So this is Sylvie. I want to double check with everybody that you have on your calendar for March 18th as a board meeting. So that's where she's going to need you to consider the public comments and the hearing. Are you going to have a hearing, Sammy? No, not for this one. Not for this one. Okay, so she's going to need you to review all the public comments that she gets, if there's any, and then adopt rules permanent. Um, that shouldn't take long. Um, I don't think we're going to have a whole lot of comment, but you never know. And then the other thing that we could potentially do, since you already have that, hopefully, or read that on their books, and I'll go through and find out in here in a minute. But if Bob has any other pieces that he wants you to review, we might have an executive session because you're already, hopefully, have that on your calendar. And so Bob, just make sure to take note of that. But it's March 18th. I, what is it? Um, I'm going to go through real quick. Just make sure everybody has that on their calendar. Ron, do you have that on your calendar? Oops, huh? Hearings officer's report is listed in her work schedule. She might have that day on your calendar. Um, I, I am assuming I do. Um, what I can do is let me let me go and I'll find out from my receptionist. But I think I do. Oh, and you don't have to look right now. You don't have to look right now. No worries. Um, just make sure it gets okay. on your calendar if you don't have it. So it's March 18th. Um, and okay. then Nels, do you have it on your calendar? Uh, yeah. What time? In Nine. Nine a.m. Nine, nine o'clock. And then yeah. how long do you expect that meeting to be? Well, the rules staff would probably be really quick because I doubt we're going to have much, and Sammy will make sure that you have the information in advance, so it shouldn't be a lot of discussion. Okay. Um, the deciding factor on length will be if Bob and his, any of his team have any cases ready to have you guys review. So we can play it by ear. The other thing is, is um, I can also have April reach out to all of you once we get closer to it to see if there's a timeline. Um, um, and now is if you have to get off at a certain time, then we can make me adjust or something like that. So no concerns yet, and you don't have to okay. make a final decision right now. Uh, this is Ron with okay. <laughs> yeah, yes, um, Access, and uh, fortunately, um, the access to the information was I, not printable or I couldn't open it. We emailed back and say, help us, we couldn't get into it. And fortunately, I was today. So how much is operator error and how much of it is such short notice, not time to get this information like you can print and read it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is Sobe. This It's a specific website that we have to use in order to put secure documents on. Once you've got into it once, I'm assuming, Ron, this is your first time into it. Once right. you've got into it once, it's usually a whole lot easier to get to it the second time. Uh, we're still on the same no, um, I don't. I don't think they're actually. This is Bob. I don't think they're on GovSpace. We emailed them out. Okay. So it was just. Oh, I see what you mean. Okay. And um, so everybody's aware, we make it so you cannot print the documents. Yeah. We've had we've yeah, had we'll issue in the that. past. We'll talk that about that in a minute, Ron. I want to. Okay, thank you. Um, Grant, do you have that on this? The March 18th on your board meeting or board your calendar. I do. Perfect. And then Clinton, do you have it set aside? It's on there as we speak. Perfect. Okay. And, so, and then Sylvie, this is this is Chris. I that is on my schedule as well. Oh, perfect. Excellent. Okay. So we'll keep you informed because it, if it's just Sammy and her rules, it'll be a very short meeting. Um, if Bob and his crew are ready to have you review with staff, then it may be a longer. Um, we'll let you know when it gets closer. Okay? And then Ron will reach out to you and kind of talk to you about, I don't, we're on a public meeting right now, and this is where the public can hear. So I don't want to go into great, great detail about how we get you information for cases on this, on this venue. So we'll reach out to you, Ron, privately, okay? I respect that. That's great. Thanks. Okay. All right. So, next thing is kind of the COVID-19 update, and I kind of already went into that a little bit. Um, we are still a county that is ex at the extreme risk or the highest risk you can be at. 
Um, we do have a lot of people complaining because um, they can't just walk in and do anything. Um, and I get those concerns, but at least we're open. Uh, we can only allow so many people into our office at a time, and it's by appointment. And I get that we, you know, that means we're scheduled out and we're scheduled out for months. Um, but, you know, that's basically where we are with Marion County, and it's not going to change. Um, we obviously encourage everybody to do everything through the mail so that there's no need for them to come into the office. Um, and for this board and this licensing group, it's a bit different because they don't need to come into the office to take a test in order to even get a license. So it's a little bit easier for this board, but there are several boards that um, licensure um, includes taking and passing an exam in our office. So um, hopefully once we get out of that highest level for Marion County, then we'll be able to get more testing and more people into the office. And the other thing is, is the governor has also mandated all of us which is why we all have funny looking backgrounds, to work from home. So I'm in my home at the time. There's Bob and a few staff that are in the office to run the meeting. But other than that, Sammy's at home. Most of us are at home. So that's where like, all the technical difficulties come in and where you have the echoing and where Bowie was trying to explain and none of us can hear him because he's at home. And it's all of us, all of us having different networks and computer systems and all that stuff trying to communicate. So thanks for your patience on that. Um, but any questions on how we we're doing with COVID-19 or anything like that? Oh, another thing to add to the COVID. So we have been sending out a lot of email blasts because um, we are part of the Oregon Health Authority, and obviously Oregon Health Authority is the one who is working on a lot of the COVID-19 stuff. So we send out a lot of email blasts that are either, they can be very specific to a specific board, or they can go out to all of our licensees. So hopefully most of you have seen some, they'll be email blasts and they'll come, they look like they come in from HLO, like the office, HLO of the office, but there'll be tons of information in there about like COVID-19, about vaccinations, um, who's on what list, um, and then obviously we have respiratory therapy, so we send a lot of stuff to them because they're obviously working very closely with the COVID-19 and stuff. So. Some people don't get those and they don't realize or that they get them and they delete them because they don't realize what it's for. Um, but just make sure to look for those in your email stream. We've been sending out a lot of them lately. So, but any questions from anybody? I uh, don't have a question, but I want to say how much I appreciate everybody's help and guidance uh, for the board. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, we're on, is it, sorry, anybody else? No, we're good. Thank you. Just don't okay. say just don't say new normal, or I'll block you. Oh, I know, right? <laughs> I hope not. Uh, so we are on item number six, which is the public interested party feedback. Bob, is there anybody on the public phone? Hi, this is Bob at the office. Is there anybody on the phone that would like to speak, or is there anybody on the phone at all? <clears throat> Todd Young, I'm here, but I oh, have no comment. Todd's on the phone. So we were talking nice about you, honestly. So Todd's on the phone, he, but he doesn't have a comment. Bob, is there anybody on the phone? Thank you, Todd. That, that doggone thing mutes itself. Todd's, Todd's on the phone, but he doesn't have a comment. Oh, Todd is on the phone, but he does not have a comment. Correct. Okay, perfect. All right, so we'll move on. So we are on item number seven, which is other board business. Is there any other board business that anybody would like to talk about? Not at this time, Ron. Ron, no. Um, Chris, anything? No. No. Uh, no. No, okay. Um, Grant, do you have anything else? I don't. Thank you. Okay. And Clayton. No, I don't. Thank you so much. Thank you okay. for your patience. Thank you for your patience with this technology. Technology has taught us in patience, actually. <laughs> yes, but, yes, yes. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, hopefully, it'll work. hopefully it'll be you work better next time. Yeah, and one of the things that I've noticed is that the um, Comcast, so what is that, Comcast?
with Xfinity. Xfinity Comcast, they're really running, trying to run new cable lines so that to increase the bandwidth for all the umpteen million people who are working from home. So hopefully things will get better. Um, Bob, you should have a closing script to adjourn the meeting. Okay, this is Bob. If everybody's ready, the Board of Denture Technology meeting is adjourned at 11.08 a.m.